Hi, I'm Corey Rich. We're at the Luther Spires above Lake Tahoe, California in the Sierra Nevada Mountains. It's a spectacular location and we have world famous elite rock climber Beth Rodden who's going to be climbing for us. My goal is actually to shoot DSLR video. Now, shooting video is very different than shooting still photographs on a DSLR. With video, we're actually trying to consciously and smoothly move the camera, or we're locking it off and we know that the subject is going to be moving through our frame. All of the equipment that I'm carrying is on my back, so I'm conscientious of weight. I'm shooting on the Nikon D800. On the wide end, I'm using the Nikkor 16 to 35 millimeter F4 lens. I bring a 50 millimeter 1.4 if I need really shallow depth of field or if I want to shoot video in low light. And on the long lens zoom side, I'm using the 70 to 200 millimeter f4 lens. The most basic way to stabilize your HD SLR camera is simply hand holding it. I like to tension the neck strap against my neck by pushing the camera forward. You can actually really lock off and stabilize that camera. But if you want more fluid movement or a real locked off camera, then you're going to graduate to a video tripod with a fluid head. The fluid head allows you to smoothly pan the camera right and left or tilt up and down in a more graceful, intentional way. Next level is to buy a jib. It, it creates the feeling of the camera almost floating through the air. Out right, yep, stem your foot out right. Maybe you chalk up. Oh, that looks killer. Oh, that's fantastic, the shot. Now, when you have no wind and you have perfect conditions and you can talk one of your friends into buying an RC helicopter because it takes a lot of practice, then you can actually really get your camera flying through the air. We're gonna put the Nikon 1 J3 on. The advantage to the Nikon 1 J3 is we can shoot 60 frames per second at HD, and it's much lighter, so we get more flight time. We're using less battery to keep that camera aloft. Right on, Sean, that was awesome. Considering we had so much wind, I think we got something. Ah, that footage, it looks great. When I'm shooting video with Beth Rodden, I recognize that she's hanging on the side of a vertical wall, and it's not easy, even for the world's best, to be in that position. So I'm very conscientious of what I ask her to do and how many times she can repeat those movements. One other important bit of advice is when you're shooting video, make sure that you actually record long enough. When I press that record button, as a general rule, I allow it to roll for 10 seconds so I have enough video footage to edit. The best part about working in environments like this and shooting HD SLR video is that when the project is done and you bring your content back and share it with your friends, family, even clients, and you can put a smile on their face, you've done your job.